Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about how the pandemic has changed me. You want to know how the pandemic, this COVID-19 pandemic has changed me? It hasn't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It has changed some aspects about me. For one, for one, this pandemic made me realize how unhygienic people really are. When this virus first came about, everybody was panicking about washing their hands more, spraying Lysol, wipe this down, wipe that down, let's wipe the carts down at the grocery store. Why the hell weren't we doing that before? Why did it take this virus to come about for us to start wiping down grocery carts? We should have been done that. Like, come on, them grocery carts are disgusting. I can't stand seeing people put their kids there. And they turn their back for one minute and the child touches or licks the cart handle. <coughs> Another way the pandemic has changed me. It made me slow down even further. <laughs> now, if that sounds like a bad thing to you, it's not. It's not a bad thing. My life was already really slow down. I mean, really slow because you're not home school and, and I'm practically home all the time. So I'm already very relaxed and in slow motion mode. Yeah. But it wasn't a bad thing. The reason why I say that is because everybody needs to think. And sometimes, even homeschooling, even homeschooling and being at home hustling and with these kids, even that doesn't provide me with a chance to think clearly. Sometimes it doesn't. However, being home a lot more because of things being shut down or just not having the opportunities anymore to go places the way we used to, like normal. It still has made me sit around and think more. Now sometimes, of course, that can be bad. It can because, of course, as they say in the Bible or wherever they say it, an idle mind is the devil's workshop or devil's playground. That's not always true. You know, your mind is only going to be as toxic as you let it get. If you sit around and let your mind stay meditated on things that you know you don't need to be meditating on, yeah, that's bad. If you're sitting around watching porn all day, or you're watching TV all day, or you're neglecting your kids, or you're neglecting your hygiene, all of that, if you're not, if you're meditating on all this stuff, while being home all day, and you're not getting better as a person, then that's not good, you know? Now, of course, a lot of people are experiencing depression through this, unfortunately. Eh, can't really help it much. People are doing the best they can. There are some people who experienced a lot of issues throughout this pandemic. It made them more depressed. It made them more suicidal. A lot of things happened. People lost their jobs, all of that. Now, like I said, the way it changed me is that it made me think more and I can, I've come up with more solutions about my situation. I've come up with a little bit more solutions about what to do and how to do certain things. I researched more. Another way it changed me. Mm. See, this pandemic. <laughs> Y'all don't want to hear my real thoughts about this pandemic. Y'all don't want to hear my real thoughts about this so-called virus. So you know what? I'm not going to say anymore. I'm just going to say that this pandemic has not changed me too much. It has made me think clearer. It has made me start working out more because of course I did eat a little more at home um possibly gained a couple extra pounds <laughs> but it made me could stick to my workout routine it made me think more maybe go back to certain things that I wasn't doing as much it made me journal more made me meditate more all of that that's how it helped me and that's how it changed me it made me start appreciating the fact that I was already homeschooling my kids before this pandemic, so I didn't have to worry about pulling them out of school. 
I didn't have to worry about stuff, stupid virtual schooling. I didn't have to worry about any of that. My kids were already here home with me, so when the pandemic went down, I'm like, oh, okay, mm, virtual schooling, what? My kids are already home. I ain't got to worry about shit. That was great. That part was great. So, I believe that it has made me wiser in some ways. You know, I've had more time to read, I've had more time to research some things. Yeah, I've done a lot. Like I said, I'm not gonna say my true thoughts about this virus and how I feel about it and how and what I feel it really is or what it's doing. I am not speaking on that. However, like I said, those are, that's how the pandemic changed me and that's what I've been doing all this time, you know, trying to figure out more solutions to my own personal situation. And I have, I've been doing a lot of things, a lot of other things that you guys might find out about soon, some point this year. Yeah. <laughs> also, of course, the pandemic, it brought about these stimulus checks that everybody so greatly needs, <laughs> you know? That's a good thing for everybody. So it kind of, it's changing the economy somewhat for the worst, but it's a blessing and a curse in disguise, depending on how you use it, depending on how you use this opportunity, these opportunities that are being given to you. It could be a blessing or a curse. So what you do with that is up to you. You know, stay wise and keep doing what you're doing. As far as the pandemic going away, I don't think it's going to go away. Unfortunately, I, I don't think it will. I don't know if they're going to have us wearing masks for the rest of our damn lives or are they going to force us to all take that vaccine at some point. I don't know. But I'm banking on the vaccine thing. I'm not doing it. So, anyway, I believe I've said everything about how this pandemic has changed me. I really can't think of anything besides I've just been doing little things like taking better care of my hair and stuff. Taking better care of my kids' hair, you know. Cooking a lot more, learned a couple of new recipes, stuff like that. You know, basic housewife stuff, basic stuff I was kind of already doing, but I've had even more time, more of an opportunity to look at things differently and appreciate things differently. Appreciate my situation just a little bit more. That's what it's helped me do. So yeah, with that being said, I believe that's it. I believe I've said everything I wanted to say. Let me know your experiences down below. How has this pandemic changed you? What have you been doing since last year? Has it helped you or hindered you or anything? Let me know. Write your comments down below. Give this video a like. Don't forget to like. Please. Yes, you in the purple. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Second hour, month, minute, and week. Yeah. Thank you for watching.